Hello, this is Mark Lowe here from my Tokyo apartment. And tonight, this evening, I want to introduce uh, this new album, The Way Out Is In. And uh, I've had some songs from this, three songs up on YouTube uh, for some days now, maybe around a week. Uh, it started out as a three-song EP with uh, the title track, The Way Out Is In, in two versions, actually, with vocals and without vocals, instrumental. And then the center track was, uh, or is, um, uh, Tear Garden, which is a, a kind of cover, or you could say rearrangement of the song by uh, I A M X I M X, um, Chris Corner, uh, and I uh, kind of radically uh, rearranged it in a sense uh, from the original version for just piano and voice. Um, and uh, two tracks were later, actually two days later, uh, added to this, and uh, only two tracks were added, but they're both over 15 minutes each, and that made it a full-length LP. Only five tracks, but 53 minutes. And uh, the second track is uh, Omicron, which obviously, uh, you know, refers to the uh, version <laughs> or the uh, mutation of uh, the coronavirus that we're now uh, sort of seeing ar across the, uh, the globe, the pandemic, and... Uh, uh, this is a, a kind of a sequel to uh, COVID from 2020's uh, Untitled album. Uh, both are instrumentals, basically. And uh, then the uh, track number three, uh, which comes between Omicron and Tear Garden, um, is a 15-minute long piece, uh, which is completely improvised, uh, called uh, Forget the Past. And I'd like to talk about these five tracks just briefly, really, uh, to introduce them and to introduce this LP. Because it is a kind of special LP. Obviously, it was recorded very quickly. And it's mostly, um, apart from Tear Garden, really, um, you could say, uh, improvisational. Like, and like literally recorded, uh, the guitar. It's, it's mostly acoustic guitar. Um, uh, tracks one, three, and five. Uh, are acoustic guitar improvisations and one and uh, three have vocals added and the vocals also were improvised so let me just start at the beginning track one the way out is in title of the album um, and uh, the vocal version um, actually the first version was the instrumental version which is track five so maybe I'll talk about one and five together um, so track five was just a seven and a half or so minute improvisation I did on my acoustic guitar in my apartment, literally with no additions or subtractions in this recording. It's uh, as it is, obviously I uh, I did stuff with uh, effects and mixing and stuff a little bit. I put some kind of reverb on it and that kind of thing. But you hear the kind of, um, there's some, you know, strokes and uh, picking and both my my knuckles or the pick um, clack you could say a tap against the body of the, the acoustic and make um, kind of echoey sounds because of the way I mixed it and um, it, it, it's all one take and uh, was just completely improvised and uh, I just you know I, I just recorded it with uh, my mic here in Logic and then um, I decided to do uh, a version with vocals. Actually, the intention originally was to do with vocals, and then after I added the vocals, I thought, well, I like it in the instrumental form as well, and that became the final track. Um, so it's it's completely improvised, both uh, the instrument, the guitar, and the voice. Um, and the way out is in. That, that was it. I just had that concept, that idea for this. And if you've listened to any of my other recent talks, especially particularly the, the last one about uh, individualism, solitude, and uh, kind of Buddhism and creativity, uh, 
perhaps you can draw some connections between that talk and things in my mind and what came out of my mouth that night when I recorded this earlier in January. The uh, second track, Omicron, is uh, the longest track. It's of uh, 17 or so minutes. And uh, like I said earlier, it's a, it was intended as a, a kind of follow-up sequel, if you will, to uh, COVID, which I wrote in 2020. 2020, obviously, that was the beginning of the pandemic before vaccinations, before medications, before we even knew what this thing was, other than it, than it was some kind of virus that came out of Wuhan, China, uh, possibly from a, a bat, and that it was infecting humans, and people were dying, and it was scary, and we had to kind of like run away from it, right? Really, literally like stay at home, wear our masks, which we're still doing that part, wearing the masks part, and uh, so that, the, the, the COVID, which there's a video for that as well on YouTube, as part of the uh, Corona Suite or something, uh, I have um, with uh, Udagawa Takeo's video. Um, that is a, 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 in a way, a darker track, in a way, a scarier track. Um, it moves a little bit faster in terms of BPM, although Omicron has no beats whatsoever in it. So it has this clacking noise, actually, but that's not, and that actually comes from banging the body of my guitar as well. Um, there's no actual drum beats uh, as there were, were uh, as there were in the uh, Corona, the COVID, sorry, um, from 2020. And COVID also had some spoken word and some breathing uh, in the background, and it was a little bit more dramatic. And, and Omicron is uh, less dramatic, uh, intentionally so. It's quieter. Um, it's quieter, as I say, it doesn't have beats. It's even, it's kind of more ambient. Um, it's longer to 17 minutes and it's uh, you know for me Omicron doesn't have the fangs that Alpha Beta if you will Corona had and then later Delta of course but before we had these vaccinations and things and people were getting really sick and dying long COVID and stuff and it was scary Omicron is ironically perhaps or not, it's not ironic but um, to me sitting here tonight and talking about it, it's less of a menace, I think, even though right now it's shutting down restaurants and bars in Tokyo and it's shutting down. It, I can't uh, book a music event. You know, I had an event on January 9th, uh, One Man Live, which is, uh, you can see the video here. Uh, that was it, you know, and then uh, I have friends doing shows, but like, uh, I wanted to uh, book some shows with Tanao. Uh, song, Tanao, uh, Lo and Tanao, you may have seen on my side. We did that one two hour session, uh, which was improvisational, and that actually, in some way, uh, wanted to talk about uh, influenced the guitar improvisations on this album, which are like sort of the main part of this album. And uh, I was revving to go, I was ready to uh, start playing live with him, uh, just improv lives. Um, now Omicron is messing it up and uh, the thing about Omicron is for me it doesn't have the fangs that the earlier kinds of COVID had because it's mutated but it's uh, it's more contagious um, apparently because it affects the upper part of the respiratory system it doesn't get into the lungs the way the earlier versions did so that's why there aren't people in in the hospital on respirators who can't breathe it's not it's like a cold that's just very contagious and if you're not vaccinated maybe it's not going to be so good for you but if you're vaccinated i don't think it's that scary but it's just but it's shutting everything down people are just panicking everywhere so omicron this the uh, the track it's not as menacing as a uh, covid from 2020 and um but it it's but it's creepy <laughs> a little bit it's a it's a little bit dark but it's you know it's a, it's a kind of a, it's almost like a new age or relaxation music, except it's a bit darker than that at times. It gets a bit, there's a bit of noise and there's a bit of, you know, the, the, the clacking sounds are a little bit menacing, but it's like sort of less scary than COVID was. The track and the literal virus, uh, the original kind of mutations that we now have vaccines for. Um, track three is, in a way, I think, 
in a way, kind of the centerpiece, became the centerpiece, and it wasn't intended to be, right? The album from the beginning, I had the title The Way Out Is In, and I did the track The Way Out Is In, the EP was that, and uh, Tear Garden, which I'll talk about next, and um, the uh, the thing about it is, I, I sat down, I was going to record, uh, if anyone is really familiar with my music, you might know the song One Touch, which I wrote in like 2016. It was actually the first song I ever wrote for arpeggio guitar, as a fully as an original, uh, on, on my own. And uh, that song was recorded in various versions. Most of them were in GarageBand, and I think I did one version in Logic, and I did a piano uh, uh, arrangement in Logic. And um, I was going to play, I, I wanted to do an update of it, because like last year, I did the Tetralogy, and I did updates of lots of acoustic songs, right? I did Bird again as Broken Wing, and I did I'll Take You Home, and etc. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do One Touch. I didn't do One Touch last year. That's kind of like this, you know, obvious kind of thing to, to, to update, to do a, a new version in my new style, slower, without the clicks, and just sort of... And I started to play it, and um, I literally just couldn't play it because of the, the emotions that for me were attached to it for various reasons, and it became this 16... Well, 15, 60 minute improv. And then uh, I just let it, I just went with it. And I, I, toward the middle, I kind of started playing the bridge of One Touch, the original song, and then back into improv. And at the end, I kind of circled back around to the, you know, the A, A part and, uh, and a bit of chaos in there. And then the vocal line sort of reflects. It's got the lyrics from One Touch at, at times, and then they go off on tangents, and it became Forget the Past. And One Touch has the lyric, uh, Forget the Past, Forget the Hurt, in the original, during part of the original. And I never actually got to sing that part in this version, but I use that as the title because that, ten that just ended up being kind of the theme of the improv, was Forget the Past and move on. And I did a video for that that's also on my YouTube page with Kick Not Han in it because in the middle of the song, the improv, he just came out of my mouth. It was, uh, you know, Faulkner's thing about the past never being past. And actually, I think Faulkner was right. I say he was wrong. He was right, but the thing is, we have to move on from the past too. We have to be in the now. There's nothing but now, right? Buddhism says this. And I just, for some reason, it was Thich Nhat Hanh's name that came out of my mouth. He's not the only one who has said this. It's a Buddhist idea, you know, impermanence, etc. And then a day or two later, I... Uh, found that I kind of looked him up because of that or something I don't remember and then Thich Nhat Han died and it was like I think it was like a day or two before I recorded the song and less than a week until and so then I made when I put the video together I I used Thich Nhat Han's uh, images and pieces of his lectures and things and I dedicated it to him in a way it's very personal very 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 perhaps the most personal thing I've ever released in a way uh, and then but it also became that the buddhist theme forget the past and impermanence and take my mom uh, rest in peace then uh quickly move on to tear garden again it's my version of the i8 remix song and that actually i recorded the piano for that last year at the end of last year and i just never completed it, it was sitting on my my hard drive in logic and i just uh I thought I want to finish that, and I did. You know, I, I took what I recorded and I arranged it, and I sang it, and added some pitter patter rain in the background that became that. And that arrangement is influenced, uh, if you're familiar, really familiar with IMX, there's a kind of remix version of that on one of his remix albums that has piano, voice, and kind of like a jazzy drum thing in the background. This has no drums, and the arrangement's also quite different from that arrangement, I think, the way it's sung and the way it's arranged. But it was. Uh, Originally, the idea came from that, and I did my own version, kind of by ear and by my own chords and style of singing. And then the last track is The Way Out Is In, it's just the instrumental version, as I mentioned at the beginning. That was the first thing I recorded. And this, uh, within a, a matter of days, became a full-length LP at 53 minutes, only five tracks, but it's um, kind of fell together quickly, and 
was just inspired by the vibes that produced the album, you know, the, uh, the thing with Tanao, I did that session, we did that session, it was just on the spot, and uh, I wanted to do some stuff on the spot with guitar, I was at home, and uh, I have to play that loud, you know, in the apartment, because it's unplugged, and then this album just kind of came out of thin air, and in a way it's, I think, uh, one of the, uh, one of my favorites right now, it's like one of the realest kind of things I've done, it's, flowed out of me, just came out of me, and uh, I'm happy with it, and uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed it, so it's a bit like, um, I don't know, to me it, it feels a bit like a Sylvian's blemish, <laughs> you know, with that kind of like improv guitar all over the place in the vocals, but the vocals on this are even more, I think, I, I didn't sit down and write any of the lyrics ahead of time, other than the ones that came from Tear Garden and uh, the cover and uh, the bits from uh, One Touch. Is in it's on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music, and all the rest from February 2nd. Thank you very much. It's also on my Bandcamp page, marklow.bandcamp.com. You can purchase it, download it to your own hard drive if you want it that way. Thanks very much, and uh, peace be with you. Rest in peace, Tiknat Han. And stay safe. Try not to get Omicron. It's still nasty, right? You don't want to be sick. Don't get a cold. Don't get Omicron. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs>